So yeah, um, I've been gone for a little minute. I apologize. Uh, I only been gone for like a week, but I'm really gonna give y'all story time today. Put the head on. Mm -mm. I'm not putting it on. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be giving y'all a story time on how my friend tried to sneak out my house and go see a boy. Okay y'all, so this story time takes place in seventh grade, almost like three years ago. So uh basically let me just like tell y'all everything before we actually get to the point okay so then i was on the softball team and after i think we almost won the game but we didn't i think we did win the game i i can't remember but we had came into school and we celebrated so i think we did win the game but whatever and so one of my friends me and her we was close at the end and she was like oh do oh do you wanna uh can i come over your house and i was like sure let me ask my mom first so i was like yeah let me ask my mom first and then she was like oh, okay uh do that and then i was like and then i was like then i called my mom and she was like oh, okay yeah it's good she can come over and stuff like that right because she just lived like right down the street from me so if she wanted to go home she could just walked over there you know so so she came in my room and everything we was getting settled in and stuff and we was uh she was just like at this time i think she didn't have no service on her phone so she was using my phone a lot so it's not it's not a problem that she was using my phone but it was it was the problem was she just kept getting on my phone back to back back to back back to back back to back to talk to this boy which i didn't really Mm, I didn't really care at the time because you know I was I don't know I was just you know I had a TV in my room and stuff so I was really good so we was just going back to back back she was just on my phone back to back back to back but then like I started getting tired of it because you know I want to be on my phone I want to do this I want to do that I want to do this so so eventually I told her I gotta use my phone I gotta do this I gotta do that okay so eventually it started getting day, like nighttime and she was talking to me about it she was like i'm finna go sneak out i'm finna go do this i'm finna sneak out your house right i'm finna go see this boy and i was like you're in my house that's mad disrespectful you're in my house and you want to sneak out of my house when you could just did that your own house like why would you do that and I was really hurt in a way because why would you ask to come to my house just to spend a night? I mean, just to, the, yeah, just to spend the night, but then sneak out. Like, I was really down because I felt like she was using me to go see some boy. And, you know, it, it was like, ooh. That uncursed. Gotta take that out. But, like, yeah, I was dead hurt. And I was just like why would you do that to me like i was really hurt so i didn't really say that but i was just you know i was just sitting there i was like okay okay so then i started getting scared because i was like if she sneak out that's gonna be my fault i'm gonna get my butt beat right so then i went there and i was like mom mom yes i snitched i snitched and i was like mom she said she finna sneak out and my mom was like oh just tell her we got cameras just tell her that and at the time we didn't have cameras like at the time we actually did not have cameras she just told me to tell her that we had cameras so she would rethink about so she would th rethink about trying to sneak out and stuff you know so i went in there and i was like girl we got cameras you can't be doing that you can't be doing this and she was like i can't even remember what she said after i told her we had cameras i think she was like dang 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 and she was like telling me uh like where the cameras were and i was like oh uh you can't see them <laughs> but we got them and i was like like yeah 
And then she started asking me, oh, can I open up your windows and stuff? And y'all, our windows, they're like those type of windows that can't be open. They're like shut down at the bottom to where someone can't get in and where someone can't get out. So the only way to get out the window is to break it. So it's like, there's no way to open the window unless you prime it open. So, and she was like, dang, I can't even open the window. And I was like, yeah, stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. And then, my uh and then she was like okay it was about let's say it was like at least 11 or 12 o'clock and everybody was still up everybody in my house was still up and she was like okay i'm finna leave wait before that she had fell asleep and she told me to wake her up at like 11 so she can get up and get ready to go and go see him which i was like you know what i'm not gonna do that <laughs> not going to do that i'm just gonna see if she gonna go to sleep and wake up in the morning and i'm just gonna say i forgot or i fell asleep too that's really what i was planning on doing but then she woke up at like 11 to 12 so i was like ding she she already done woke up so it's like that's not gonna work that's not the plan no more so i told her that it's not possible like you know um at the time like my stepdad used to uh sit in the back like we got a back living room and that's where our door is so he used to sit back there so we i told her that that you can't just sneak out because he's going to be sitting back there and you know this and that this and that and then she was like oh well oh well um just tell your mom to take me home i don't want to be here no more and i was like okay whatever so i went there to my mom i was like she said she don't want to be here no more she wants you to take her home she wants you to do this she want to do that my mom was like no it's 11 or 12 o'clock if you want to go home you need to tell your parents to come up here and get you because you know my mom knew that she was trying to sneak out so it's like what if we drop her off and she pretend to go in the house and we go off and she just leave and that's our responsibility because her parents don't know that we were going to drop her off right so my mom was like, no, you either have your parents come over here or you get the police to come over here and escort you home like that, et cetera, et cetera. And then my friend started getting mad. She was like, well, why are you going? Why you do this? Why? Da, 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 da. It was just a lot of talking back and forth between her and my mom. So I was just like, OK, what's going on here? Like, what's going on? And I can't remember if we dropped her off at her house or if she stayed the whole night. I really can't remember. I think she stayed the whole night. I think she stayed the whole night. I'm not pretty sure. I'm not really sure though. So that's really it. So, uh, after that whole situation, we was still in school when all this happened. So it was not no summertime. It was not no this or that. We was still gonna see each other every day after that happened, right? So after that, she went home and my she told her mom when she got home, I believe. And then my mom was to call her or she is supposed to call her mom. I don't know. They was on the phone arguing. They was just going back and forth, back and forth. Like, I really thought they was going to fight. Like, I really thought they were going to fight. So I was like, OK, I'm, I'm ready for anything because, you know, she might be my friend. But if she touched my mother, it's it's over it's over with I, it's over with so after they got into it she must have thought just because they into it we must get into it so i was i was going to school i was living the normal day of whatever was going on during school so i was walking in the classroom and as soon as i walk in the classroom everybody look at me talking about some oh so i'm looking around like um am i missing something like what's going on am i missing something and I heard somebody whisper, blah, 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 said she was going to beat you up. Like, you you know, the fill in the blank. So I was looking around like, and mind you, I sit right beside her. So it's like, why you got your head down? Why is you not saying nothing? Because uh, apparently you said something to them. So if you have something to say, say it to my face, right? Say it to my face. So she was just sitting there. So 
what I did was I went to go sit down because if you're not going to do nothing, I'm not going to make a big out of deal or nothing. So I went to go sit down right beside her. She right here. I'm right here minding my business while she minding her business. So I don't know what's going on, but people behind me talking about, oh, she's going to beat you up. She beat you up. And I'm sitting there minding my business. I'm like, okay, let her put her hands on me. Let her put her hands on me and let's see what happens. So I'm out of my business. I'm not entertaining it. I'm not doing none of that. So we going on through whole through the whole day. We're going through the whole day. People from different grades come to me talking about, oh, she wanna fight you. Oh, she told me this and that, told me this and that, told me this and that, this, that, 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 that and the third. And I was like, okay, this is getting out of proportion because now other people is coming to me saying, you finna do this, you finna do that, you finna do this. And you're not doing anything and you're running your mouth with my name in it so it's like what's going on here like what are you not saying to me that you are so scared of like like that you want to do so bad so we was in math class and i just got tired of it so i walked up to her and i looked her dead in her face and i said is there a problem do you want to go ahead and get this over with because and she was like what are you talking about and i was like you obviously want to fight me so it's like get up let's get over it with it and she was like we cannot fight you know our moms are going to get in trouble if we fight so i'm looking like um anyways child oh y'all it's making me so mad just thinking about it just talking about it just oh just oh okay so what happened next okay so she was like you know we can't fight we can't do this we can't do that we, our moms are gonna get in trouble and someone behind me talking about what they gotta do with y'all parents and i was like exactly like you obviously want to do something that you've been running your mouth about all day but when i come up to you you all of a sudden don't know what i'm talking about so i'm like okay i'm gonna drop it i'm gonna drop it again but if i hear something else i'm gonna run on her and I meant that. I said if I hear something else, I'm gonna run on her. And that, and I meant that. So we went to lunch. Everybody was talking about it. We went to lunch. And on our way back to math class, um, I'm finna walk in the classroom. No, 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 no. We was we was coming out of math class to go into another math class. Yeah, we had two math classes. So uh, we went into the next math class. And before I can get in the room, I heard the the uh. I heard the, the intercom, it was like, Shamaya, please come to the office. So I was like, I know the girl didn't snitch. I know the girl, I know the girl didn't say nothing. So I was like, okay, you know what? It ain't, I shouldn't even be worried about nothing because I really didn't do nothing. I ain't really been, I ain't been running my mouth. So I'm walking down there, mind my business. I walk into that office and they, they see me there. They like, what is going on here? What is going on? I'm like, you're wearing Crocs. Like, <laughs> And they sat me down before her. They was like into visually, you know. And so, um, yeah, they sat us down individually and they talked to me. And I told them everything. I was like, first of all, this ain't got nothing to do with me. She was, it do got stuff to do with me because she, obviously brought me into it so she was she was just going back and forth back and forth telling everybody this and that so i told her i, I came up to her i told her i just wanted to get over with and they was like okay we understand that but you shouldn't you shouldn't bring violence into it i, I wasn't trying to like i really wasn't i was trying to keep to myself but she just kept working my nerves i'm sorry and so then they talked to her and then when i walked in there she was crying i don't know i don't know what happened what they was talking about and they sat us both down and then i had to tell them again in front of her i don't know why but i did and she was like no no like she was just denying and stuff like that and we was and then we end up telling them that this beef really started because of what our parents had going on and what our parents like was happening with them so i told them i was like i didn't have no beef with her i didn't have no type of beef with her but she obviously had some with me like she obviously had some with me so i was like okay and uh i 
already know y'all gonna ask oh is she gonna see this video well she might i don't know because i i am gonna post it on my socials and i think me and her are friends on our socials so she might see it she might watch it and it's really not that serious anymore because me and her we got back close uh i we're back friends so it's not really that serious anymore so this is a little ha ha kiki so um but that was it was a ride y'all it was really a ride because like i was really about to be hurt i was really about to be hurt but like i was really i was really like Jesus Christ. But yeah, that's the story on how all this came occurred and how all this happened. And it's just me and her, we been in so much together. Like y'all, not even just, not even this, just situation. It's been so many situations with her. I'm not gonna say it was bad like this one, but we has been so many situations, me and her being in that it's just been so much going on and just like a lot. So, that's not the sun going down. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please comment down drama. And if you're new here, I've got to say this at the beginning, but if you're new here, please subscribe and hit that bell to get every notification when I post. Even for the people that just watch my videos and think it's okay to not be subscribed and think it's not I think it's okay to not have that beautiful bell but y'all know what i'm saying so yeah uh i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button and subscribe and join the fam and maya is out